Uh, you know, I really had the worst angle over there too, Coach. I, you know, and you didn't really tell me. We talked about excuses this morning. No, we didn't really talk about. No. <laughs> So what's good? We in Nashville, Tennessee with the TSU men's and women's golf program and Coach Parrish with the whole goal is to turn this into the best HBCU golf program in the entire country. So today we're going to spend time with the team, with the coach, talk about the future and talk about the present and really figure out what the support of United Airlines means to the program going forward. I don't know where I would be without TSU. And, and that is a, about as, as honest as I could be. Trailblazing is not anything new for anybody here at TSU. It started with Dr. Katana Starks, and she was the first African-American woman to coach a men's division one team. We do have a diverse team. We've always had a very diverse team. We have been able to uh, get more and more people on campus. And once we get them to campus, it's amazing how fast people feel at home. Coach, talk to us about what we got here. Obviously, you got a, a game plan in motion to turn this into the best program, and that started with some good practice facilities. Absolutely. So what are we looking at? Well, what we're looking at here is uh, what used to be our baseball field uh -huh. when we had a program years ago. We're going to take and build a pad straight across here, and what we're going to do is we're going to set some mats up on this. Right. We're going to get creative with some targets. I want them to be able to say I'm hitting a 55-yard shot not a 60 and not a 50. This would be the first time we would have something to call our own, that we're not going across the street to Ted Rhodes or down the road to McCabe or Harpeth Hills to get in practice. When you talk about the steps that you're gonna to take to get a better program, having something on campus that you can use whenever you want is the first step. What's good? What's good? Michael's. Michael Rogers. Nice to meet you. Trinity. Hey, good to meet you. I'm Trinity. Trinity. Nice to meet nice you. To I heard a lot you. about you. Siebert. Siebert? Yes, sir. Roger, good to meet you. That was Cameron. Cameron, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Out of all y'all here, who the who the killer of the killers? <laughs> See a lot of disagreement. That's good. That's good. I started playing golf when I was 12. Tried out tennis. Uh, my backhand wasn't that good, so I took up golf and been doing it ever since. My grandpa lived on a course back home in Bermuda, and then so every time I went to visit him, just go up there and play. So like around seven, really started taking it seriously, you know. I got into golf when I was two. My dad taught me it. I got my first hole in one when I was seven. I really didn't even understand what I did. I was just like, wow. <laughs> My father is the one that introduced me to the game of golf. He's a golf professional back home in Jamaica. I think my biggest challenges are probably going to be resources, uh, getting around to tournaments, getting from place to place, getting a place to stay, stuff like that. So typically, walk me through how y'all, you know, practice out here. I figured just the best way to have a practice is an actual competition. Cameron's dialed in. Get it. All right, Cameron's got one. Oh, Lord. That's two of them? Bro! All right, take a hey, time out, bro. You done hit more balls than everybody. Just go on and take a break real quick. What's some of the, the misconceptions that y'all think people have around HBCU golf? Well, first of all, a lot of students that attend TSU don't even know that we have a golf team, and then the misconception that we can't perform at the highest level and, and compete, I highly disagree. I think I can compete with any any one of the players in the OVC conference. I like when people think I'm not good enough. <laughs> so Trinity, what has it meant to you being a part of a HBCU golf program? Just seeing like other golfers out there that look like me is really inspiring and just gives you a sort of kind of confidence that I can be here and I can do what everybody else is doing, especially in college and playing this sport. It's, it's definitely needed to have that confidence because, you know, there's not a lot of us in this sport. So, so. that relatability, it just, mm -hmm. it help you take everything mm -hmm. to the next yep. level. Yep, yep, yep. We proud of you. We <laughs> Thank proud you. Of you.
Uh, so look, we got the homies at Full Swing. They done hooked us up with a launch monitor. And we gonna pick a distance to the exact yardage. We can all come up with it together. First person hit that distance, win. What you think about that, Coach? I think 100. Let's go to the number. Let's go 100. Zero, zero. One, zero, zero on the dot. 102. 102. 102. Come on. 102. 102. Okay. That's wow. it. 92. Oh, she's short. 92. 87. 87. Yeah. You need another club. Come on, baby. <laughs> 101. Ooh, Leader boy. in the clubhouse. Nine, 110. 110, baby. 110. 110. Go. 91 on the dot. Oh, Lord Jesus. That's going to be good. Oh, oh my God. Coach, come on, baby. 100 on the dot. I think oh we have to crown the champion. Nice job. Good. Way to go. You know, we obviously here because United Airlines is, is stepping up in a major way to support those efforts to help you become the, the best HBCU program in the country. What does that gesture mean to you? Uh, what it means to me more than anything is that not only can we utilize the, the gift from United to go play in tournaments um, out there, but I'll be able to use that to go recruit. And the more you build on that, the more people want to be a part of it. That's what our plan is. Hello, Tennessee State Golf Team. I'm Brett Hart, President of United Airlines, and I along with all of our United team members, are excited about the new opportunities the travel program will enable. We see you, we're proud of you, and wish you all the best. Hey, that, was, that was really that nice. Was, that was, that was really nice. touching right there. Mm -hmm. I like how in the video he has said that we see you, because um, that was a problem for us here at TSU. Not a lot of people know that there's a golf program, so I think it will help us be better. They are doing this so we can elevate our program. We in kind need to elevate back and, uh, and make it to where we show them it was a good sound investment. One of the things that we want to do as ambassadors of the game is, uh, you know, take the game and maybe go find the kids that wouldn't have an opportunity to come here, go play in tournaments that uh, people wouldn't normally have a chance to watch an HBCU play, spread the goodwill of what it's like to come and play at an HBCU and what it's like to come to TSU. In many cases, when we go to play golf in some of our tournaments, we have opponents that are playing in a match for the first time ever against a minority opponent. Um, you can have those situations to where we're gonna be the only HBCU in the field. And it's great to look at how we are going outside of our world into the golf world and that's the, that's the most rewarding part about it.